Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. So today is a work from home remote day. So I am we're just coming back from the weekend and I have a lot of emails because I'm starting off by responding to some emails because there was an issue with our um, there was an issue with reporting on Friday when I left and people are people emailed us about the issue and I need to respond to them to let them know hey like we escalated got a ticket out there was an issue with another team and they fixed it so yeah I'm just going to respond to them to let them know that hey the issue's been resolved go back in and check the results and you should see it updated and if not just to let us know and we can reopen um, the ticket with this other team so that's what I'm working on now. So I'm just going to get some emails done and then I'm going to get some coffee. And then I think I'm going to come back to this um, Tableau training that I've been taking. Listen to that, go through some more of that content today. But yeah, I will check back with you then. Okay, y'all, so I need to get out a report this morning. I need to update one, but I have a meeting, a meeting in like 10 minutes. I don't, I don't think I recorded. No, I didn't film anything Friday, but Friday, someone asked me to help them with the VLOOKUP. So we pull up on a call, like right before my shift ends to go over this VLOOKUP and I'm like, okay, so with a VLOOKUP, you're pretty much merging data. You have data in one sheet, you have data in another sheet, you need to get them together on a field that they have in common, but the data, you know, the rest of the data may not exactly mirror and be exactly the same. So I'm like, okay, you show me these two spreadsheets. There's one field that's in common. So what data do you need to come over to the other? This person, they, don't understand how a VLOOKUP works and they don't even know what they're supposed to be doing. Well, so, so and so told me to ask you to do this and I'm like, well, I know how to do a VLOOKUP, but I still need to know what data you need to get together. Like it's not just, like I can bring everything together and you'll have this super huge file, but to save space, like you don't wanna get all the data together. And even after you get all the data together that you need, you still don't know what you got to do with the data like that's not my job like if you're wanting me to just do the vlookup i'll do the vlookup and pull the data together and send you this file and be on my way but it seems like you're sending me instructions on how to do a vlookup i don't need instructions on how to do a vlookup i just need to know what data do you want me to bring together between these two files and you can't answer that because you don't know so now we're having a call with me, this person, and the person who told them to do the VLOOKUP. I don't know why I'm on this call. All I was supposed to do is a simple VLOOKUP. Why am I on this call? Like if you're supposed to do other stuff with this file, which it seems you are supposed to be doing, that's you, that's not on me. Like, am I in the wrong here? Am I being a a-hole here? But it just seems like you need to do other stuff with this file, not me. If all you need me to do is a VLOOKUP, that was done you need to figure out what it is that you need to do is what it seems and now we're on this call I, I, i'm invited to this call unnecessarily with my manager like i don't even understand all right let's join this call i don't want to do that hey good morning yeah so columns d e and g right yeah i'm good with that part um you still have to send me the other file i believe um, I have his file, but I think there was this, hold on, is this the one that you sent me Friday? Was that only the special? Okay, I see the DM file. Okay. Now, if there's people that are on file that aren't on your file. Okay, got you. Okay, y'all. So basically what I got from that meeting is that um, I just need to do the VLOOKUP from and only bring over three columns of data instead of all the data. Like all of that data isn't necessary, like I thought from this person's original file that we met with, I'm copying over their data because they have like an all in view that we need, um, that someone else needs to scrub against and I'm just setting the file up for them. So they have it, but the original person, yeah, they need to, uh, 
get it together because like but that's what it seems like they were trying to get me to do because they still have to scrub against it so yeah that's where I'm at I'm just getting this v-lookup done and then I'm going to send it over to them and they can do their part because my part is going to be done in just a few short seconds here so what I'm doing is I have like the main file that they, they are going to need to scrub against and then the data from the file um, there's two files that they sent over that I'm compiling together for them and then they still have to do some additional scrubbing after I get this data together for them and you guys the, this is the type of requests we do get sometimes like just basic stuff that you would think people would know how to do and they don't okay so let me finish this up I'll check back with you later Okay, good morning everybody. Happy Friday. It is a remote work from home day today. I am getting started on the coffee you just saw me make. I haven't had a French press coffee in a while, but it's a cold, gloomy, rainy day. It's been raining like all week in Atlanta. We were probably across the country as well. You, brought, you guys probably have been feeling it. But what I'm doing today is that we have yet another hierarchy change at work. Um, that's happening so I need to prepare my um a couple of the a couple of the jobs that I have automated that's running I need to check them because one of the jobs is actually for a project that I had from an old team and I still own it it hasn't been taken over by anyone new yet but I need to check that one because I believe this most recent hierarchy change is going to affect that project and that job that's running more so than anything else and I know I've been talking about hierarchy changes a lot lately I don't know if I necessarily explained what they are and what it means so I want to kind of talk about that briefly I hope it's brief but like the databases have different tables in them and one of the table or Okay, you guys, so I am editing this video right now and I realized that I am not doing a great job explaining these hierarchy changes. So I wanna kind of break it down where I hope it's a little simpler and easier to follow. So when you're looking at a hierarchical database model, it's designed like a tree, it has a tree structure and you have your roots and then I guess you have your branches that come off from that so from your root node you have different branches that come out and they have a parent child relationship which is like a one to many relationship which means you can have one parent but you can have many children but the children can't have many parents if that makes sense so if you start off with your parent and they have four children so to speak you can build off from that one of the children can have um two of their own children and then they become a parent if that makes sense and what's happening is that the parents are being changed in the database so when that changes that causes your entire kind of like family tree structure to change and you have to make sure your code is updated and corrected for these modifications that are being made because if they remove a parent or change a parent that means the children got to change too so that's what's happening and that's what's causing issues and multiple updates so I hope that's clear I'm going to try and do a drawing to show this a little bit better and put it over me speaking but I just wanted to pop on and explain that and hopefully it makes sense just some things that I need to modify and then I haven't updated any reports yet I've been trying to respond to this email someone reaching out questioning their results like my data is wrong it's not wrong your math is wrong so so that's why you're not getting the same numbers I'm getting so I need to respond to this email to this person um, and let them know like how the calculations actually work for this particular metric how we're doing it so i started like when i saw that email this morning that's the first thing i started working on is responding and explaining it in a way that you can understand like so for me i feel like one of the areas that i need to work on is 
explaining things and training that type of thing I want to do more types of like it, trainings like within my company and I actually got to do one with someone yesterday but I need to do a I can do a better job at explaining things in a simpler way that people can understand so that's what I'm trying to do like through the use of examples for common things that people may understand so that's just something I'm working on personally so after I get this email finished and send that out I'm gonna work on getting a couple of reports updated I plan to work on modifying this code whether or not that actually will happen who knows and we what who put a meeting on here till four absolutely not. okay i'm sorry i'm just seeing my calendar why do we have a meeting so late on a friday i don't understand i need them to move this meeting up i'm not trying to be here that late today okay but anyways um this week i've been working on helping out a lot of people on my team with some of their projects and some of the reporting and data that they need we've been working like half days in the office this week and half days at home which has been at least for me, it feels like I, I don't mind like, oh, you can go home half a day and work from home the rest of the day. I don't mind coming home and working half a day. It's just inconvenient that I have to break like your set, like your desk setup and everything like at our office, it's open seating. So I don't have a designated seat where I can leave all of my stuff. So I have to pack everything up come home and set everything up and then after I'm done with work for the half day I have to break everything down pack it up in my backpack to be ready to go to the office the next day so it's just been a bit inconvenient doing that again I'm not going to complain about coming home and working from home it's just a, like I wish we had permanent desk setups in the office I know that's not realistic because there's not enough space for every employee to be there at the same time but at least give us like a little like locker or cubby because they have lockers that you can you can um reserve a locker for the day but you have to still take all your stuff out so what's the point of using a locker i just want them to have like at least give me like a little locker a cubby something that i can have all my stuff there that i don't have to pack up and take with me every day that's the annoying part that i don't like but Let's get into this work day. Let's get into these reports and getting our stuff together. And I am still taking the Tableau training uh, for the um, for the uh, for the certification. I'm still taking that if you're curious. And so far, it's going good. I really like it. So, yeah. And it's being um, the training is being done by someone who is a YouTuber. I watched his videos. I don't remember the name of his channel. I'll try and find it. But or maybe I'll just include it when I do the review on this Tableau certification. But yeah, let me drink my coffee, get into this email, and get into some of these other reports I need to get out. All right.